Peter and I really decided to not view these things as like, oh, it's the next step in the disease progress. Like, we're viewing this as like, it's another tool in our tool belt. Good morning, guys. It was a little bit of a rough night. I mean, Mary was able to rest a little bit on and off, but she's in a lot of pain this morning when she's got up to go to the bathroom and started, her lungs wanted to cough, but the pain was so bad that it um, wouldn't let her. So the surgical team just stopped by and um, they want us to get this pain a little more under control. So they're going to talk with the rest of the team and figure out a plan. They had me on a um, basal dose of pain meds all night. So it's okay. All right, guys. So pretty much a lot of the teams have come by. Her pulmonary team came and we have her pain at a more manageable level right now. Um, but coughing is still really hard, which is really important to get her lungs clear. So PT is coming back in like 15, 20 minutes probably. And so we will, Mary is a trooper, she's pushing through this, but we have a plan. One concern that we have is yesterday, even before surgery, her platelets and her white blood cell count are pretty low. Um, so, uh, hematology is going to come by and, uh, talk through, um, what's going on there. It might be one of the antibiotics, the IVs that she's on. Um, we're just going to talk that through and figure out what we need to do. So. Hi guys. Yeah. Ooh, holy movie. So, basically... The first seven hours after surgery were really, really bad. Um, they got me hooked up to a um, pain pump, um, which allows me to be comfortable on le uh, um, as long as I'm not coughing. So when I'm coughing, the hope is that an additional, like when I press the pain button, hopefully it'll help me be able to cough, but so um, far... Mike, now is perfect because PT's coming at 11. Okay, I guess I'm getting a um, EKG. Check it out, guys. Mary is proofing the vlog. Trying. Trying. A little drowsy. My pain. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, toilet paper. That's so funny. Yeah. It's afternoon now, and Mary has been interrupted from resting many, many times, from meeting with hematology to pulmonary to physical therapy and all the things. So she is rightfully worn out. Um. But, do you want to update them or do you want me to? Uh, you can. Okay, so uh, essentially we, her tube has just been uh, draining uh, from her stomach just to let... Not my stomach. Or from her jejunum, sorry. Just to let all the surgery um, heal and... Uh, we are going to clamp that off now and flush her feeding tube for the first time. We're not going to start the feeds until tomorrow. Just um, Mary's just been in a lot of pain and like getting things figured out with uh, just healing. And so we don't want to throw in another variable yet. So um, we're going to start that tomorrow. And I think we're going to do a couple medications through the J tube tonight and she can start eating and drinking now. So I was like, Mary, how do you want to, we just got this news. And so I said, Mary, how do you want to ease into eating and drinking? And she's like, 
Crunchwrap Supreme. She was kidding. Um, Taco Bell. From Taco Bell. So, so that would be like the worst way to use it too. Basically where we are is, um, as long as I'm not moving or coughing or using my abdomen muscles, my pain is under control. Um, we're really hopeful that maybe tomorrow I'll be able to cough, but um, it's crazy. I mean, even mm -hmm. with the pain med, with the button and everything, it's really not a possibility, so. But chest PT is totally fine. Chest PT doesn't hurt. It's literally, just I mean, I guess some positions are more painful, but um, you're able to tolerate the, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm able to tolerate that. So. But it's just the. Uh, oh, I'm so dry. Okay, let me get you some ice. Okay, the surgeon just came by and said we're good to go ahead and clamp off the tube. So here is, let me let it focus. Um, this is like the little button that is kind of the port for her J-tube. So uh, right now it's just taped up with gauze and we'll keep it taped up here for uh, a while while it heals. Yeah, her stomach's like swollen, bloated. Um, you can feel like air in there from the yeah, surgery. Like my skin, like literally under my skin, is like crunchy. Yeah, when you you hear the air bubbles almost. We just got really good news from the surgeon, oh, though. Yeah, so he did a surgical procedure where he creates kind of a pouch, basically. In the jejunum. In the jejunum, so that uh, there won't be like back pressure for like, so it won't leak my my J tube. Also, um, he placed a very short button. It's only like this big inside of me. So there's no need to flush it. It's like G tube protocols, but it's a J tube. Yeah. So Which we we had talked about this procedure that he was gonna do um, when we met with him last week. He told us about this procedure where he kind of makes a chimney in her jejunum uh, where the J-tube, the balloon of the J-tube goes into, but we didn't realize until today that that would make such a world of difference in how we care for Mary's J-tube when she's doing feeds and um, that we can basically treat it like a G-tube. So basically it means we don't have to wake up every four hours yes. to flush it. Which so is absolutely huge. amazing. It's yeah. amazing. So um, we're going to be sticking with the infinity pump. So it's going to be easier to do feeds than it was with the NJ. We're going to let Mary rest. Ollie boy has been trooper and we are going to go for a little walk he and i oh <laughs> did you hear that we're going to go for a little walk okay yeah. and he um, is such a sweet sweet boy such a sweet boy he's just he's so he's bright. an all-star so he and i are going to do that we're going to get some drinks and yeah. some light stuff for mary to uh ease into putting stuff in her stomach the surgeon said the first um, two to three days are the worst for pain. So what are we on? I'm on the second day, so. Yeah, so hopefully Tomorrow or the next will be a turning day. point. So the anesthesiologist uh, just came in after the surgeon and uh, both of them were talking about how the surgery that Mary had done to place her J-tube is more extensive extensive than like a normal g-tube or j-tube placement in that they did that special procedure of making a chip basically a little uh, pouch in her uh, jejunum and so they were kind of explaining that is um, totally 
uh, explains kind of the feet, the pain that Mary's in because it, you know it's like she has these small laparoscopic incisions, but on the insides they did a lot. So they're hoping that kind of tonight and heading into mo tomorrow will be the turning point for Mary's pain and that we can move forward. But here we find ourselves and we'll keep on pressing on. So wherever you find yourself today, keep pressing on and Ollie and I are gonna go. Better hurry. We're back. And these two are just enjoying some treats together. Oh, you're a sweet girl. Can everybody please go down and give Peter a thumbs up for me? Oh, come on. You're the one that needs thumbs ups. Aww, you you're such a rock star. Oh, my goodness. Mm hmm. Everybody's so proud of you, hon. Really? Yep. Thank you. Um, should we tell them how chest PT went this morning? There were some tears involved. It wasn't like, it was involuntary wailing. Like, yeah. I couldn't contain the mm -hmm. pain. Squeezed my hands pretty hard, did I? Oh, did I? <laughs> Sorry. Good. Yeah, it was not good, but since then we've upped my pain med, so I was okay. I was, there haven't been any Wailing. Pain. No more wailing. Yeah. A few like uh, 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 uh. oh yeah, lots of that just because. It Anytime hurts. she's about to cough for coughing. Yeah, coughing is not happening. It's not good. Hopefully, what time we'll maybe, get there? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I feel like two days post-op is gonna be kind of the What do you turning say? Point. Two to three days. Yeah, two to three days. So we'll just breathe. Take it one day at a time. Yep. And I don't know if we updated you guys about IV antibiotics. Did we talk about that? Oh, yeah, because my blood counts. Her blood counts were dropping, which we've seen happen on antibiotics before. But we met with hematology, and this, like, her blood counts came up a little bit today. So um, we're going to check again tomorrow and the next day and just make sure they continue to be stable. If they drop again, we might have to switch things up, but for now, we're good. Nighttime, Palmazime. How you doing, hon? I'm so riveting. Oh no. Hmm, popped right off. Yeah, it sure did. I'm sorry, I'm so boring. No, you don't need to be sorry, you're a rock star. I ate like four bites of um, cereal. Yeah. Stomach wasn't quite so sure about it. But, doing okay now. There's a liquid med that I really don't like the taste of. And now I can put it through my J tube and it's like, yeah! So exciting. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, you know, as as you get older, as you get older, um, <laughs> as a CF patient, as I get older and we add, you know, more medications, more therapies, more hospital stays, all of this, um, Peter and I really decided to not view these things as like, oh, it's the next step in the disease progress. Like, we're viewing this as like, it's another tool in our tool belt. Um, Speaking you know, of like the J tube, yeah, yeah, the J tube and whatever comes yeah, next, you know, whatever. it's just uh, another s tool, yeah, yeah. So we're glad to have it done and have it there. It feels right. 
like both mm-hmm. of us are like, yeah, it just feels like it fits yeah. in. It feels like it's it's right part of our there. little family. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. So. I'm just thankful to have you. I'm thankful to have you, Missy. Mm. You make me very proud. Oh. Yeah. And we're thankful to have you, Mr. Bonesy Boy. Uh, two Paul pile up here. <laughs> well, let's say goodnight to our friends here on the vlog. Thank you guys, and you know what I lo- we looked at? We lo- took a look at our Great Strides teams, and thank you so much to those of you who have quite a few uh, teams have been donated to, and we're just like, really grateful. literally the first 20 teams, somebody went through and donated 10 or $20, or er, uh, we don't know $10. Who, who, yeah. It was anonymous. Thank you so much. It's so encouraging to see, you know, um, it, it takes a, a whole, it takes a whole village. Um, some people aren't fight, able yeah. to go on, go to walks. Some people are able to go to walks, but aren't able to fundraise. So it takes a whole team of us. I think I'm... You got a cough cough. Oh, no. I can't. You can't do it. Let's see. You can take it. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> thank you for all your love and support, all your sweet comments. And as always, we will see you tomorrow. Uh-oh. Good night.